So, you had a 14 trade that happened a couple of days ago. Let's get into the new faces and new places. Let's start with the Phoenix Mercury traded away Diamond the Shields to the Dallas Wings. Now, this is surprising to a lot of people because Diamond the Shields was one of the main reasons why Phoenix had a decent season last year because of how she played and even through injury. So it's quite surprising that Phoenix traded her away. Especially on the heels of you're not really sure what's happening with Brandon Griner. Yeah, she said she's supposed to play this season. Skylar Dickens Smith is not probably playing this season due to pregnancy. And, you know, you you really don't know what your roster is going to look like. So, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that you guys traded away your most consistent player last season. But she goes to Dallas where now she will team up with Arike Bumawale. And I'm a little surprised there that Dallas traded for Diamond the Shields. Yeah, she's an athletic two-way guard. But I thought Dallas's future was centered around Arike Bumawale, Marina Mabry, and Satu Sabli. But I guess not. Um, I just have to wait and see how um, Diamond the Shields fits in with them. They have some new pieces and the different coach, so I got to wait to see how that fits. Um, the Dallas Wings traded away Marina Mabry to the Chicago Sky. Um, I like the pickup for the Chicago Sky. You guys need somebody who can play point guards. You lost uh, Courtney Vandersloot. Ali Quigley decided to not play this year. Y'all lost uh, Ezra Stevens. You lost Candace Parker's for free agency. So, getting Marina Ramey gives you a point guard. You guys also signed Courtney Williams for free agency. So, that's a spicy trio of Marina Ramey, Courtney Williams, and Khalid Copper. I like it, though. Um... The New York Liberty traded Michaela Onyewele to the Phoenix Mercury. Now, I kind of saw this trade coming with all the new pieces that the New York Liberty got, being Sludy and JJ and um, Brianna Stewart. So, it's not surprising that you would have to make some trades to finagle um, money in your roster. But I like the trade because um, Michaela on your way to being traded to Phoenix, I think she would get. She's definitely gonna get way more playing time. If she stayed at the Liberty, her play she would play, predominantly be on the bench and barely play. So I like her chances in Phoenix a lot more, and she's probably gonna see the floor a lot more. Um. The other. The other um, team in this trade was um, a lot of the other teams got got picks. There were a lot of picks traded around within 2024-2025 between the four teams. Um, I think Diamond the Shields going to Dallas helps. I just hope they use her use her to her strengths. Um, Marina Ravery going to Chicago. She's going to have the green light to shoot the ball. You know, she had the same green light in Dallas, but I, she's even more going to have it in Chicago. Um, Michaela Nguele, she's going to have a chance to really show her what she can do as a player. We saw bits and pieces in New York, but I think we'll get to see um, more of what she can do. You know, she got rookie of the year for uh, being being um, in New York, so I'm interested to see what she does in um, Phoenix. I think all the teams that got these talented players upgraded. 
you know do i think some of them could have stayed where they are yes but i like i like the trades and i think i just have to see how they fit in with the other players that are already there at, at, for some of these teams that's going to be the biggest thing with these trades <laughs>